Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, The Residue. In this short section, we're going to define a term where it applies to something we already know. For example, we already know here that the closed path integral of an analytic function is equal to zero. The path comes back to the starting point. For analytic functions divided by z minus a, when you do this closed path integral, you get 2 pi i f of a. The first one we did was f of z being equal to 1, and then you have here f of a equals 1, and you simply get 2 pi i when you have 1 over z minus a. So let's look at this capital F function around a contour that closes on itself. If f of z, this capital F of z, happens to be analytic, well then you get zero. However, if it has a pole, here we have separated out the pole part from the function, the rest of the function, f of z, and that gives you 2 pi i, this top part evaluated at z equal to a. So we're going to look at this as having three steps. For example, we take this capital F of Z, and if we know there's a pole in there, then we need to clear out the denominator that has that pole. Step A, clean out, clear out, or clean out the denominator of F, capital F of Z. And then, when we do that, we wind up with just the little F of Z. So you clear out that denominator, just take it away. And then step B is you set z equal to a, and then step 3 is you multiply by 2 pi i. So this procedure here to clear out the z minus a first, then let z equal a, and then multiply by 2 pi i, that procedure leads to a definition called the residue, where the residue is little f of a. That's the residue of the capital F of z at z equal to a. And see, that's the thing we need here, the residue part. We're throwing away the z minus a part due to this incredible result that we get some finite uh, value here. It's complex here in general, the 2 pi i times the little f of a. So we summarize all this by saying that little f of a is the residue of the big F evaluated at the pole, the pole z equal to a. So we can look at this as a formal definition here for the residue, the residue of the big F at the pole a, z equal to a. You do first of all clear out the denominator, so we're multiplying by z minus a, that'll get rid of that denominator, and then what you have here is the little f of z. Then you here let that z slide to a, or simply equal a, with that pole being gone, and you get little f of a. Hit it with 2 pi i, and then you have your result for the Cauchy integral formula. So this residue definition is useful. It'll help us in our future analysis of things.